Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can learn things, what are the good resources and stuff like that. Because many people are, you know, asking these kind of questions like what resource should I follow? What should I do? How to learn? I don't know how to search something. So let me show you. So what most people do is they open Chrome, they open Google, and these are what noobs do. Okay. They search like Linux tutorial. I want to be a hacker. This is such a stupid thing and most people do it. And let me tell you if you are googling something you are never going to get some good result until you use some tactics okay so if you search something like this well most people are searching things like this and obviously you are going to end up on some stuff like udemy courses or you know ethical hacking courses which is just you know some business strategies so if someone want to be a hacker then obviously business will recognize it and provide some garbage content for him but this is not how things work in real world so in order to get some good content you really have to dig in and find some good content okay for example this website so what are the odds that you will end up on this website and what are the odds you will click on this introduction to linux in order to learn about linux i mean look at this page it's so good literally if i ever get anyone any of my friend who ask me what documentation uh, will you recommend in order to learn linux i i will recommend to him this page because it is really you know thrilling i enjoyed it a lot and i read almost everything uh, i'm still reading some of some other documentation which is provided here for example now after reading this uh, now i know how to compile kernel module and i really enjoyed it okay so for example this page okay so I learned about PS, like uh, how Linux processes work. So do you guys know that, you know, in Linux, when you type PS3, it starts not PS3, it's just a tree. But when you boot your system, the first process which run is init process. Okay, so init in my computer, the init system is system D and then, you know, it get fork and start some other processes, for example, in my network manager and those processes like login process, start some other processes like start X you know in it in xorg and then dwm which i'm using and in the end this shell with where i am and this command ps3 okay so you know one process get fork and start other process and you can learn all of this all these details by reading this documentation which is really good actually because it's not just going to te teach you about how linux processes work it's also going to teach you things like home sweet home okay it is going to teach you like how to you know make space and how to to keep your directories clean and stuff like that so i will really recommend you that you know what open this page and read it spend your all day just you know getting your eyes dirty with this page okay for example if you want to learn about osi model can you ever imagine you will end up on this page in order to learn osi model which is one of the best page in order to understand the osi model actually no it's not one of the best page but i also found some other guides by the way about networking so for example system administrator guide and it contains some networking latest stuff which you might find very useful so you can learn a lot by just this this website okay it contains so many guides and look at this advanced bash scripting uh, so many people want to learn about bash can you find uh, this kind of content from google well no okay you you can't and uh, there is no ad this is not business this is people who actually are passionate right write these kind of stuff it's not like people who do things for money okay. so i do also one more thing i just want to tell you and i i feel very frustrated with people sometimes because they want tutorials they want someone to teach them which is so stupid like if i if you go to go you know let me show you so uh what is the shell scripting tutorial okay so for example people end up buying udemy courses for shell scripting i mean you did calculus in school okay you are not an idiot if you are coming into iit if you are trying to be an engineer you need someone to spoon feed you uh, how to use some basic tool like bash then this is not going to work okay you don't really need some guidance all you have to do is just read the doc and understand how things are working okay you don't really need someone to tell you you need to make the habit of reading you might find it confusing then and try doing it more and more until 
until you get it because in the end of the day in the long run you have to do it okay so uh, get start as early as possible so do, you don't really need a a teacher for python okay you don't and you stop watching videos also this is just one example like look at gnu manuals gnu also got a lot of manuals and uh, for example c most people want to learn c programming but they never realize that this page contains everything about c every time i get struck with c i come to this page and it contains almost everything and for example bash scripting okay so gnu manual also covers bash scripting topic too it's just like i'm trying to give you some examples so it also contain html version always go for html version instead of pdfs because pdfs are not very clean html versions are very clean so here you can see you can learn everything about bash actually i i have one friend who learned whole bash by just reading this and let me tell you no video can teach you you can't find uh, you know amazing videos which teach you stuff which you can read and learn and this is this was just another example and let me talk about c++ so there is a website c++ reference i think uh, i come to this website not this website this website okay cppreference.com and this is one of the best website i i love it okay and I, uh, when i do competitive programming this is my go-to website okay so all you need is this website in order to know about any function so for example if i want to know about vectors in c++ uh, this website covers everything you just have to open this page you have to learn how to use the these kind of websites like documentation some are easy like for example this introduction to linux page it's really user friendly and it is written in a way so any normal person can understand it but um, in order to read documentation you need skills you need you know some experience but in the end of the day you will start understanding these kind of stuff you don't really you should not get afraid okay you should stop looking for pe people who will teach you stuff and start doing research you are not an uneducated person okay i, I I find people like so annoying people like they they act like uh they always have to, to they always need a teacher in order to learn stuff but in the end of the day these are just stuff which all you have to do is just read it and you will know about it okay so let me show you some more cool good good content so you can understand the difference because most people just end up you know some shitty website like guru 99 okay something named like guru 99 you should you should leave it so for example this website okay coffee.net so i learned a lot by blogs people's personal blog okay you can never find uh article like this how to run your own mail server in freebsd on any other page you know it, it it was a blessing that i ended up on this page and i had to end up on this page because i know how to find good content and every time i found some good content i look deep for example i came to this page and then i realized that this article was good then this guy must have some other stuff which is you know good and i read some other articles like dnssec and it was also very good okay and there are tons of content which i find daily and i also you know get connected with people who read good content and they share so in order to you know these days search engine sucks if you want to learn things you have to be a researcher you have to get in you have to stop watching videos stop uh, googling stuff you have to use websites like yv.me try to search for topics which are deeper that's my recommendation and that's a video i mean it's just it's just some you know random stuff which i told you but i think that finding good resources and learning how to research in order to learn things is really important what i do is i just you know i just go on the internet and keep reading about stuff on some good pages and i think this is how you gain knowledge okay not by some udemy course so uh, just practice your tools is also very important did you really just forget that melody Right na 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 When I popped off then your goal gave me just a little bit